We left Franz contemplating a paradox of mastery and flow states. If being in the zone feels like what you're doing is doing itself, then who is doing the doing? Franz was oddly thrilled to discover he was not the only person to wrestle with this question, and he'd found some thought-provoking ideas on the phenomenon of self-organization seen throughout the natural world. These folks suggest that cells, hurricanes, flowers, immune systems, and people self-organize. Franz thought it was all very interesting, but surely things don't just organize themselves. Without some sort of leader, or at least a set of rules, nothing will ever organize. It's all just chaos. With that last thought, Franz had hit on a key aspect of self-organizing systems. Large numbers of independent agents interacting according to a set of rules can form systems with emergent properties that could not have been predicted. These systems can then act as agents in yet another level of self-organizing system. So while it may appear that these agents are independent, they are actually interdependent. These ideas, though on completely different scales and radically different contexts, share common dynamics, and when enough scientists pop their heads up long enough to recognize a pattern that transcended their fields of study, the result was the science of complexity. The difference between a hurricane and an ant colony is in how well they maintain themselves. The hurricane self-organizes, but it doesn't adapt very well. It dies relatively quickly when challenged with a land mass. An ant colony, on the other hand, will adapt to challenges such as a flood in the nest or an obstruction of the food line. Because it self-organizes, maintains itself in the face of challenges, and exhibits emergent properties, the ant colony is considered a complex adaptive system. Franz had two burning questions about these systems. How do they know the queen isn't running the show and telling the ants what to do? And how could a system like an ant colony adapt if all the ants just followed the same set of rules? One way they know the queen doesn't run the show is by plugging in the rules of being an ant into simulated ants to see if the same kinds of emergent phenomena show up. The rules include 1. Follow any pheromone trail you find 2. Touch antenna with any ant you meet and 3. If you come across too many foragers, switch from foraging to trash collecting. These rules encode both positive and negative feedback into the system. Given enough ants following ant rules, food lines form and cemetery and trash dump emerge. Even the relative distances between food stores, trash, and cemetery is consistently optimized. For a self-organizing system of rule-based agents to adapt, some of its agents, ants in this case, need to break the rules. This rule-breaking in small doses allows systems to stumble on solutions to problems. For instance, the ant that wanders off the pheromone trail is more likely to discover a new food source. Other examples of disorder introducing variation include recombination through sexual reproduction in evolutionary biology, and human acts of creativity such as Rosa Parks' act of civil disobedience. In self-organizing adaptive systems, the balance between following rules and breaking them is a delicate one. Too much disorder and the system falls apart or fails to organize in the first place too little disorder, and the system has no means for finding solutions to challenges and dies rather than adapting. For instance, when the immune system fails to invent an antibody to an invading antigen. Franz had to admit he liked the idea that there were organizing forces in the universe, and while he wasn't ready to buy into it, he was willing to stay open to new data. 
After all, it's not like the world is only moving towards chaos. Flowers still come into being, and he supposed it was possible that this happened in a self-organizing way. But Franz wanted to know, what does any of this have to do with doing and the sense of agency and flow states? Ponder this, Franz. If you and your brain are self-organizing systems, then even your sense of self, agency, and even your conscious awareness are emergent properties of a complex adaptive system. While your top-down emergent executive function is real, all the other bottom-up influences that brought it into being are still in play. If you're like Franz and would like to read more about complex systems theory, or self-organizing systems, or autopoiesis, a good place to start is Stephen Johnson's book, Emergence, another very fun and accessible book that also covers game theory and evolutionary biology, is Figments of Reality by Stuart and Cohen. Mitchell Waldrop's Complexity is also very accessible. If you'd like to get a little deeper, you might read Evan Thompson's Mind in Life. Uh, just a warning, that is not an easy read, nor is Kelso's Dynamic Patterns. They're both quite interesting. Uh, one that has come out that I have not read is Deborah Gordon's book on ants. She has an excellent TED Talk. If you Google for that, you can find her TED Talk on the ant colonies that she's been studying for two decades. 